Now, when you are given a question related to bond Haber cycle, okay, uh, you need to be uh, where uh, you have to plan, okay, how to uh, draw the um, how to draw the bond Haber cycle. And first, okay, what you need to do is to start, okay, you need to start somewhere, okay, and we always start from enthalpy change of formation, okay. But in this particular question, this is very unique because they are asking you to calculate the value of enthalpy of formation of magnesium oxide. Okay, in, uh, in order to do that, okay, what you need to do is you just assume, okay, you just assume magnesium oxide. Okay, this one is going to be magnesium oxide. So I'll just put MgO, okay, solid over here. And you are going to just assume that, okay, it's going to be uh, exothermic doesn't matter okay doesn't matter so i'll just put it over here maybe here and this is going to be i'm just going to assume that this is going to be enthalpy of formation because formation can be either positive or negative yeah it can be either exothermic or endothermic so you just write down magnesium solid okay and then plus with uh o2 which is going to be gas so ha okay so this is going to be enthalpy of formation and which we want to find, yeah, which uh, we want to find. And then, okay, we start to use all the values given over here. Okay, you can see we can start with atomization. Okay, so atomization. So first, let's start to uh, atomize the magnesium. Okay, so you atomize the magnesium. Magnesium becomes gas. Okay, plus half O2 gas. It stays. And uh, normally we use the delta H A T K okay, and so on. But since I just want to calculate, okay, I'll just put the value so that it's easier for us to calculate later. So here is going to be, I'm going to put uh, the value is positive 148. Okay, it's given here. So positive 148. So 148. And the next thing that I need to do is to atomize oxygen. Okay, O2. So most of the time, okay, I told you yesterday also, okay, most of the time, this value, okay, like for example, now I just put like this. If you want to uh, atomize oxygen, okay, half O2 become O, okay, this one, sometimes they will not give you in the data, okay. So you need to look into the data booklet to find that answer, okay. So there is no enthalpy change of atomization of oxygen. So immediately you go for the bond energy in your data booklet. Look for oxygen. Okay, so you can see oxygen here, 496. Okay, do remember, okay, when you have this uh, O2, you are breaking them, the bond between them to give you 2O. Okay, so that is going to be 496. And do remember, I'm looking for to get one mole of O. So what you need to do, you need to divide them by two. Okay, you divide, it's going to be 248. Okay, 248. So I will use 248 here. Okay, that is very, very important. Okay, so if you have okay, three over two, okay, to give you, uh, let's say for example, I'll give you one example, three over two, O2, and then at the top, three O. So what you need to do, Okay, you just need to have three atoms of oxygen. Okay, so how do you get three atoms of oxygen? So you just need to times okay, this number. Just now, when I divide by two, means I times with one over two. Okay, but now if I want three atoms, okay, three atoms, so what you need to do, you just have to times with three over two. Okay, please remember that. Okay, three over two, or you can just find the enthalpy of atomization okay which is going to be 248 just now and you want three atomization three atom okay so three times okay 248 if you want to use that method or you can just use three over two times 496 is still the same okay so please take note of that okay i just uh, give you some uh, some hint okay of possible questions that they might ask okay but you get 248 over there and the next step is going to be by looking into the enthalp, uh, your ionization energy. Okay. Now, if you notice here, there is no information about ionization energy. Normally, they will not give because 
uh, it's available in your data booklet. Okay, so ionization energy. So let's say I ionize magnesium first. Okay, so I have Mg plus, which is going to be gas plus electron plus O gas. Okay, that's going to be my first ionization energy. You can refer here. Okay, this one I cropped and then it's 736. So I will just use 736 here. And it's supposed to be MgO, so I must have Mg2+. Plus. Okay, so I need to have another one. Okay, so I have Mg2+. Plus. Another one more electron will be coming. So electron plus electron is two electron. Okay, plus O, which is going to be in gas. So I just need to look for second ionization energy, which is going to be 1450. Okay, you can see over there. So one, four, five, zero. Next step okay, that I need to do is going to be, uh, now Mg2 plus is ready. Okay, I need to make the O2 minus. Okay, so the moment you see O2 minus, okay, it's going to be, you need to I, uh, do electron affinity twice. Okay, please remember that. Okay, so here, I will do the first uh, electron affinity, which is going to be negative one for one. So I'll just put, okay, maybe the line over here. So this one, okay, negative one for one, okay, going down. And that is going to give you Mg2+, plus, which is going to be gas. Only one electron went in, okay, to the oxygen. So one more electron still there, plus O minus gas. Okay, the next step, okay, so maybe I'll just move this here. Okay, the next step that I can do is going to be by uh, the second electron affinity, but the second electron affinity is positive. Always remember that, okay? First is negative, second and third is going to be positive. So I'll just put the arrow from, um, I'll just make this one longer, and then I put the arrow up. Okay, from here to here. So this is going to be positive 798. So I will get Mg2+, plus, which is going to be gas, plus O2-, minus, which is gas. And next is going to be, just need to extend this line. Bring this one down, all the way down. You can put uh, erase. Okay, uh, you can bring okay, the MgO solid okay, to the middle. And you will have this one as your lattice energy. Okay, this is lattice energy. And this lattice energy is uh, given okay, in the question, which is going to be negative uh, 3791. Negative 3791. Now, why I want to go through this, okay, because I want to go through it uh, slowly. Yeah? Uh, when you have okay, a situation where you have two and, uh, electron affinities, one is going down, one is going up. If you are used to my method, which is going to be clockwise equals to anti uh, clockwise, okay, I will strongly suggest okay, that you uh, combine. Okay, you combine the electron affinity. This is the main graph, uh, the main diagram for your bond Haber. Okay, but do remember, you can combine, you see the one that is going down, negative one for one, and then from here to here. So what you can do, you can extend, let's say if I put a line here, okay, I can find out what is going to be this height. Okay, if I can do that, Maybe I can have a fake line here. And okay, this one is your working. Okay, you can erase it later. Okay, when you do the question and so on. I know that okay, going down is going to be one for one. The top overall is going to be seven for uh seven nine eight. So I can find out what is this, which is going to be seven nine eight minus one for one. Okay, you should know that yeah you can see that as well yeah so that one will give you okay seven five uh six five seven okay so i'll just put six five seven okay it means that uh electro affinity one 
okay the first electron affinity and then the second electron affinity combined it's going to give you uh positive six five seven yeah so when it is going to be much more easier when we calculate later there will be less mistakes okay uh if you're using the clockwise it goes to anti-clockwise okay so uh now okay we are just uh need to put them together okay clockwise equals to anti-clockwise okay you know that all this that is going up okay they are all clockwise clockwise even this one now is clockwise ignore the uh, negative one for one okay ignore the seven nine eight we already combined them okay and this is also clockwise okay going down okay like this energy and then you can see if it is coming uh follow here okay this one is going to be anti-clockwise okay so what we will write is going to be 148 okay plus 248 plus 736 plus 1450 plus 657 if you do not want to write 657 also can because it's part of your working right so you can just put a bracket okay how do you get 657 okay you got it from seven uh, 798 minus uh, 141 okay so i just put 798 minus 141 okay if you are worried okay you might be losing marks and then you can write down okay it's still going to be 657 so plus okay with the lattice energy which is going to be plus negative 3791 equals to anti-clockwise which is going to be uh hf okay now it is very very important okay even though i can see that it is going to be going down okay it is very important not to put negative enthalpy of formation okay do not put that if not okay your answer will go wrong okay so we are not sure okay whether it's positive or not okay because formation can be positive or negative but we are assuming okay we are assuming so just use that hf okay just use that hf okay and then we draw okay we draw and then we calculate okay when you calculate okay you will get okay you can calculate and you will get your enthalpy of formation which is going to be equals to if i show you uh what we have done the other day okay so it is going to give you negative five five two yeah so this is how you need to be careful okay so be careful on uh, when you do this okay you can see all this okay when uh during exam uh the examiner when they mark okay they are not bothered on how you reach your answer as long you can show them okay this part okay there is some sort of a working okay and there is some sort of working in terms of bond haber cycle okay you must actually have that if not you won't be able to come up with this okay so if you have that then you will get the three uh three marks okay so if you just calculate and just tell i put everything in calculator i end up with 552 okay you will only get the mark for the answer you will lose the mark the remaining two marks for the working okay so please take note of that okay so now okay if you look at uh the okay enthalpy of formation so that is going to be the answer which is going to be negative 552 and so on okay so this part is going to be the bond